Developing on the implementation of broaching support, Partmaker 2018 now supports keyway broaching. Complete control over dedicated tools and cycles has been added, as well as the ability to perform multiple indexed cuts. So I've loaded in my model, and we have a variety of pre-programmed features, including two keyway broaching features. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through the process of creating one of these features. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create the relevant setup. In this case, I've used mill end index. The second thing you're going to want to do is create a new tool. To do this, I'll navigate to Toolminder and then Tools. For this particular component, I need two different keyway brooches, one with an 8mm shank and one with a 6mm shank. So as you can see, a new type has been added to the drop-down menu alongside rotary and index brooch. We now have a keyway brooch tool. A variety of different parameters are available to define your tool, as well as the usual verify shape and the shape preview icons. This will give you a 3D representation of the cutting tool. Once you're happy with your tool, you're ready to start creating your broaching feature. To do this, you're going to want to select a new whole group. From the type drop down menu, you'll see that there's a new keyway broaching option. At this point, you're going to want to enter a diameter. This diameter represents the minimum diameter of the broaching cycle. In this case, it's represented with this face here. I know that the diameter I need is 15.6 millimeters. And I know the depth of my cycle needs to be 11 millimeters. At this point, I can press cycle. And you can see that I've already pre-created two keyway broaching cycles, one for each different sized tool. If I go ahead and select my first cycle, press select, I'm just going to go ahead and edit it just to show you what's involved. So as you can see, a new operation type has been added to the edit cycle dialog. And if I choose to edit the operation, I have the ability to specify the height. This is effectively the step over of the keyway broaching tool. If I choose to enter into the keyway broaching options, I can specify a starting angle as well as specifying multiple cuts at different angular increments. At this point, I'm happy with my options, so I can close the dialogues. Since my keyway broaching cycles have already been created, I'm just going to hit the cancel button. And at this point, I'm going to use the new 3D verification tools to verify my toolpaths. And as you can see, we're doing four index rotations of our index broaching strategy. At this point, I can create my process table and enter into a simulation. If I choose to view my finished component and rotate my view, you can see that we've successfully programmed two broaching cycles around the inner diameter of the component. 